This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, Kodak Black, unfortunately, is facing eight years in prison. Now, he was found guilty of all five counts of... Uh, of all five counts of violating his house arrest. The judge was pissed. He said, this is making a mockery of our judicial system. So that doesn't sound good to me. They didn't even sentence him yesterday, okay? They're going to sentence him on the 4th, May 4th. He goes back to jail. They just keep pushing this out. This guy has a hit song out right now. He has an album out, and they're pushing it back. But, you know... You, get, you should be more of a choir boy if you're on, on probation. He was kind of pushing the limits, I got to admit. And, you know, he does have a crazy history, you know. Like, just just October 4th, it all started October 14th, 2015. He had a Pompano Beach incident. Um, he basically was arrested on charges of robbery, battery, and false imprisonment of a child and marijuana possession. Then he had a traffic stop in the end of 2015. Um, he was charged with two misdemeanor cannabis charges. Then in February 6, 2016, he had that South Carolina incident. I think this is where he was alleged to have sexual battery of a victim at a hotel. Then uh, April 21, 2016, Hollandale Beach arrest. Um, possession of a weapon with a convicted felon. Possession of marijuana fleeing the police. Then his Miami arrest in May of 2016. Uh, he, he was picked up on charges of armed robbery and false imprisonment again and sent to police custody uh, August 17, 2016. Uh, outstanding warrants keep Kodak in jail. Um, September 19, 2016, Co Kodak pleads no contest. And then he gets four months in jail. Um, and he's, he's paid two hundred and eighty dollars in court costs. Then December first, two thousand sixteen, Kodak free in a hundred thousand dollar bond. February twentieth, two thousand seventeen, back in jail for violating uh, his probation. Um, or no, no, back in jail. What was he back in jail for this time for? Uh, I think approved for residence at half hour. But what was this? Uh, landed Kodak, but false imprisonment charges landed him in jail. Broward County, Florida, lockdown since the bond, told us the Kodak Black lawyers. Okay, well, he went back to jail that day. April 5th, 2017, alleged club assault. April 21st, anger management uh, incident where he was, like, burping repeatedly and pissing off the anger management person. And just the, two days ago, guilty of violating house arrest. So he has a – he's pissing the court off. He has a lot of history. He's got to switch it around. I hope they only give him another slap on the wrist and give him one more chance. He is a young guy, man, and he could really change the lives of his whole family right now. Well, make sure you come out, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like it. Uh, let's try to get Kodak Black free. And I hope, I hope he didn't do that thing in South Carolina. But you know, you know how the court system is. You're guilty. You're guilty until proven innocent. It's not the other way around. So I hope he's a. You know, I hope he didn't do that. But anyways. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Check you guys later. Peace.